Um, if there's um, there's no a people. Um, he, he, he must go with your daddy's or mum's because they will be be taxed to you for, from the naughty people. Oh, I see. That's good. That's good. And they'll be taxed to you from them from hurting you. Yeah. Yeah. But when you're grown up, like 32, like my mum, um, you can go in the woods on your own because you're grown up. Because sometimes you don't need your daddies or your mums. Because some in, because some woods they don't have naughty people in or dirty men. Oh. So sometimes you can go in the woods on your own, but sometimes to make sure. Go with a grown up when you are grown up, and go with another grown up because they need a big protective from because if there's naughty people, dirty men. Right. Okay. So just in case. Yes. Hmm. But if you're still grown up and you can go in there on your own, as your mum and dad says, you <laughs> you. If they say yes, you can, and if they say no, you can't. Okay, right. But when you're a kid, you can't go in there on your own because there might be dirty um, men and dust naughty people. Mm. So just to make sure you, you need to bring a grown-up with you when you're a grown-up or a kid. Yeah, okay, and then it's safer. Yes. Okay. So, That's good. remember, um, remember mm. to take a grown up with you, just in case. Yeah. In, in case there's a dirty man and naughty people in the woods. Yeah. Because the naughty people might hit you with their bag, or they might hit you with a piece of wood. Or a hard thing. Right, okay. And it'll really hurt you. Mm. So remember to bring a grown up with you. Okay. But you can go in there on your own if, if you make sure you look after yourself when there's naughty people and dirty men. Just to look after yourself so they don't hurt you. And how are you going to look after yourself? Right. Dirty men and they trying to hit you, just run as fast as you can, run out the woods, go home, lock the door and come in your front room and there you go, the, the naughty people and dirty men can't come in. That's, that's a good idea. That's what you should do. Mm. Okay, and what about the police? Could you call the police? Yes. And how do you do that? Right, so you could call 999. Right, okay. But you can try 999. Yeah. But just to check the numbers. Okay. Just check all the numbers, mm -hmm. and if it's 999, that might be the place. Right, okay. And then, then you can tell the police that these bad people have tried to hit you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But tell, but tell the police that you run away from them. Right, yeah, okay. Because you don't want them to hit you very hard, do you? No, you don't. You don't want them to hit your eye. You certainly don't. Or your mouth, or your nose. No, you don't. Or this bit, because that bit's going to be really hurting. Is it? Yeah. Your chin? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Anyway, if it hits your knees it'll be way hurting and mm -hmm. make sure you run away from them and go home and look at the door and go in your front room and shut the curtain so they don't see where you're gone yeah and make sure the windows are shut because they might because if the windows are open they might come through the window that's true yeah that's so a good you idea. should always make sure the door is locked and your windows are shut yeah okay that's a good idea so that's some good advice, isn't it? 
that's good advice. Very good. So make sure you do that. Yeah, I will. I really will. And that's why it's important to eat all your dinner so that you can run fast if ever you need to run away. Yes, you need to eat lots of food, lots of healthy food to make you where you grow and we make, make fast and faster than those naughty people and dirty men. Yeah. So make sure you eat healthy food to make you run even faster. That's right. Um, and there's one home. Mm -hmm. Make sure you lock the door. Yeah. Keep the windows shut. Put the wind. Put the curtains shut. Uh huh. And don't. And make sure there's no gaps. Yeah. Because they might look through the gap. That's right. Yeah. So you want to hide. Yes. You have. You can't. Hide under the table because they'll still see you under the table. Mm. Right. But the only thing to do is hide upstairs. Oh. In a cupboard. In the wardrobe. Okay. You need to hide in the wardrobe. Right. Have you got a wardrobe? I have, yeah. I've got I've got a few wardrobes. Hide in the wardrobe. Okay, that's a good idea. Because if you hide like this, they'll see you. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, make sure they don't hear you. Oh, so you've got to be quiet as well. Yes. And if your friend is with you, and your dad and mum, they will look after you. Yeah. And they will be text you. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so, you're going to be safe then, aren't you? Because you know all that stuff. That's really, really clever. Good girl. <laughs> so, that's all for now. That's all for now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.